estate mogul earning upwards of 52.45k a year after tax. Now, a lot of you are Neil Cole Hatka's followers, so that means you are probably lower to middle income slugs Bonk. earning less than 44.245k a year after tax adjusted for inflation. So I, as a very successful wealthy lion, have generously donated my valuable time to help some of you get out of that slug mentality, to help some of you make more than that pathetic amount that you're making every year. I am a lion, so listen up to my lion answers. You are slugs who have chosen to value things such as life satisfaction, Bonk. family, Bonk. happiness, Bonk. mental health. Bonk. You have chosen to value these things over the most valuable thing known to mankind, wealth. Accruing wealth is what will make you happy. Accruing wealth is what will make you a lion. Forget about your family, forget about your friends, forget about your message and your morals and all that kind of crap. Chase money and you will find happiness. So here we go. Let me answer some of these slug questions. Get those slug ears up and listen up because I'm about to teach you how to become a lion. Charles out. Love. Out to answer the questions. Love. Okay, slug question number one. Hashtag ask Charles. Hey Charles, I'm a slug, slug, slug. Being that you're a big shot entrepreneur making astronomical amounts after tax, obviously, I'd like to know if you were to lose your empire, how would you go about getting back to your level of success? It seems so daunting attempting to start a business in this lion eat slug world if you were at stage one of the process all over again. How would you grow your assets and reclaim your lionship? As I expected, a very slug question to start off with. Well, let me tell you something, Alex. Another slug name, by the way. Alex, I am not afraid of starting from stage one because I know I will never get to stage one. I will never lose my assets. I will never lose my wealth. You know why? Because I have a diversified portfolio. So that means if the economy crashes, that's fine because I've got wealth in other areas. Areas which I can't actually name for legal reasons. But the point is, those particular assets become profitable in times of economic calamity. Diversify your portfolio. Don't invest in good things. Also, invest in bad things. That's right, invest in good, invest in bad. That is the wisest thing you will probably ever hear because you're a slug and you don't try to educate yourself. So Alex, I am not afraid so this question doesn't even make any sense. Lions like me don't even bother answering pathetic slug questions like that. I only answer lion questions. Next time, ask me a lion question, Alex, you pathetic slug. Question number two. Hashtag ask Charles. I was told by a vegan that I should be arrested for eating meat. To this, I replied that they should be arrested for not being a lion. In brackets, lions eat meat and vegans get eaten. Beautiful lion response. I'm wondering if my response was appropriate. What would you have done? Question mark, exclamation mark, question mark, exclamation mark, double question mark, exclamation mark. All right, Nick Hill. That was a lion answer because vegans are worse than slugs. Vegans are below slugs. A vegan wouldn't even eat a slug. That's how pathetic they are. A lion doesn't just eat meat. A lion chases their meat. A lion eats live meat. So if you're a true lion, you won't just eat your nice pre-packaged chicken that comes in the supermarket. Oh, it's so nice. I can put it on the oven, on the stove, or the oven, whatever you do, and cook it. Oh, it's so nice and so comfortable. I like being comfortable because I'm a slug. No, 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 pathetic. If you want to be a true lion, go and hunt and kill the meat yourself. Go and hunt and kill vegans. They're lower than meat. They're vegans. They don't even like meat. Go and hunt and kill an antelope. Hunt and kill your own chickens. That's how you be a lion. Nick Hill, that was a good answer. I appreciate that answer. You're on your way to becoming a lion. Charles Zell. <laughs> okay, slug question number three. Hashtag ask Charles. What is the easiest and best way to make money as a teen? Also, what is the easiest way to make money as a child? Bracket, asking for my little cousin. Bracket, all right, Philip. Let me tell you the easiest way to make money as a child or as a teen. It is illegal in many countries to have sex with children and teenagers. But if you go to one of these backward countries where they don't have those laws, a lot of really screwed up businessmen 
who aren't actual lions by the way, but they pretend to be. They like to travel to these countries so they can fulfill their pathetic fantasies of having sexual relations with children and teens, which would otherwise be illegal. So if you're willing to do the hard work, and I literally mean hard, then you and your child sibling should travel to one of these backward countries and become child slash teen prostitutes. It may sound harsh, you may be offended by that statement, but I'm not here to wrap you up in cotton wool because I am a lion. Your teachers, the culture, the government, they might try to be nice to you. Oh, you should be safe. You have rights. You have human rights. You deserve dignity. No, no, no. Sometimes to make money, you gotta forego your dignity. Are you willing to forego your dignity to become a lion? Well, that is the first step. So there you go, Philippe. That's how you make money as a teen or a child. Child's out. <laughs> okay, slug question number four. Hey, Chuck D, have you had coronavirus yet? If not, why? A lion like me has an amazing immune system. My immune system is so good that they injected me with AIDS and every other disease on this planet. They injected me with, with, with AIDS, with SARS, with Ebola. I sneezed once and it was all gone. You know why? Because I trained my mind to be a lion. And if you train your mind to be a lion, those neural pathways will travel down to your red and white blood cells. Then your red and white blood cells will become the blood cells of a lion. So if you train yourself, if you train your brain to believe that you can beat any disease, you will beat any disease. If you think the universe will gift. That might have been the most hippie thing I've ever said, but it's true. It's the most hippie a lion will ever be. So train your brain, train your immune system. You'll never get coronavirus like me. I had it, actually I did have it but I sneezed it out. One sneeze, coronavirus gone. Because I'm a superior lion with a superior immune system. And you can do that too, if you train your brain. Charles out. Huh. Slug question, I don't know what number this is. Hashtag ask Charles. I'm having trouble getting my twin five-year-olds motivated to work in my basement sweatshop. They're, they're only working 14 hour days ATM and it's holding me back from achieving my business goals. Do you have any advice that could help me out? All right, Tom, you clearly haven't listened to my previous video about how to make money in a pandemic. So child labor force was only the first step of the process. You've also got to get your twin five-year-olds addicted to heroin. This was the model that many successful African warlord entrepreneurs employed. They got their child labor force addicted to heroin. Therefore, they enticed them to work upwards of 20 hour days with a little bit of heroin at the end of the day. So the children, they lost all sense of self, they lost their health, they lost their happiness, but they were productive. And that's all that matters in the end. Be productive, have a productive workforce, and you are a lion. So get your kids addicted to heroin. That's how you employ children like a lion, Charles Epp. <laughs> all right, another slug question. Hashtag ask Charles, oi Charles, how do you stay so chill, even though our imminent and inevitable death approaches? Do you ever think of just saying, fuck it, and fall into a hole of despair? Jake, that is never, 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 even in my line of thinking. I will never give up. I will never fall into a hole of despair. Lions never get depressed. Lions never feel despair and grief and sadness. These are slug emotions. A lion is able to control their brain and get rid of any negative emotions. My imminent death is never happening because like I said, my business interests are safeguarded against all global economic catastrophe. And that's the only death that really matters, the death of a business, okay? I personally will never die, lions never die. I don't care if my family members die. I don't really have any friends so they can all die unless they're consuming from me, then I'd prefer they stay alive, but if they stop consuming, someone else will consume, because that's all that matters. Lions who never die, and consumers that are slaves. Don't be a slave, don't be a slug, be a lion, don't fall into the depths of despair. You're already a slug. If you're in the depths of despair, and you're feeling depressed, you're a slug. Get out of it. Stop thinking depressing thoughts. It's easy to get out of depression. I can cure depression, this is what you do. You're thinking, oh, the world sucks, I suck, you gotta start thinking differently. You gotta start thinking, oh, 
I could make money. Hang on, other people are depressed like me. I could help them or I could take advantage of them. I could divide and conquer. I could create crazy racial and cultural divisions. That means I can conquer the masses because they will be at war with each other. That's how a lion thinks. So you gotta start thinking like a lion. Charles out. <sighs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, or should I say boys and girls, because you're clearly not adults. You're all a bunch of slugs with those pathetic questions. That is hashtag Ask Charles episode one. I'm sure you enjoyed it. I'm sure you've aged at least five to 10 years because the wisdom I have imparted in only a 10 to 15 minute video has been so enriching for your pathetic slug brain that you're gonna go out now and in a few days, you're gonna be worth $100 million. Believe me, because I said it. If you believe it, it will happen. Change your mindset from a mindset of fear and depression to a mindset of conquering and being a lion. You can do it, I did it, anyone can do it. Doesn't matter how you look, doesn't matter what's going on in the world, you can be a lion, I'm a lion. Charles out, I earn 52.345k a year after tax. Charles out. Oh, and uh, by the way, uh, the topic for the next Ask Neil will be um, social media activism. Let's ask questions about that because Neil's a slug. He likes to talk about all these moral things, whereas I only like to talk about money. So ask me questions about specifically social media activism, okay? And it doesn't have to be in the context of everything that's going on now, just social media activism in general. Do you think it's effective? What is the best way to argue with people online? Neil Tom, Neil, he's in my, he's in my um, AirPod right now. He's telling me to tell you slugs. If you wanna ask slug questions like that, you can ask about social media activism. Hashtag ask Neil, first line in the Insta bio, or well, in Insta DM or whatever that slug does. I am a lion, I am Charles D, that is Neil. He is a loser, Charles out. <laughs>